This is the Quack Forums uh, Virtual Data Center. The two uh, main items of interest are this three chart that will actually display the information associated with the data center as the various objects are selected. And this information window, which also serves as a place to start up the application. I'm going to start the application right now by just clicking on the customer number here, which was predefined in an earlier screen. What we're doing is uh, pulling uh, the boxes, the various uh, computer boxes, out and populating the rack. This is actually being pulled directly from the SQL database. It's offline, uh, off the system. And uh, all these objects actually exist somewhere. Uh, just not here, but uh, what we'll be able to do uh, once they're all populated is actually start taking a look inside. Uh, we're populating the buttons now. Um, and this will be ready to go in just a second. And there we are. So what we see, uh, very first thing, is when we put our cursor over any object, it tells us what those are. These are a bunch of access and utility servers. Up here we have uh, URL monitors. Uh, these are various forms of switches, uh, big firewalls, and some more switches down here. Uh, all these objects are alive at varying degrees. Uh, they reflect uh, what an existing system would look like. Actually, the difference between this and a real working integrated system is uh, simply where I'm getting the data. Uh, in this case, I'm getting this from a SQL database on, running on another computer, but it could just as easily be uh, uh, directly from a data center, a set of racks someplace uh, in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so the first thing we want to be able to do is, uh, for example, turn off the racks. So I'm going to really do that. Uh, this is this, the power button. And notice when I do that, uh, they all uh, go translucent, which indicates that I've just uh, shut them down. So now these racks, right now these boxes are offline. Uh, to cycle them back up, I just press the power button again, and if you watch carefully, you'll see it begin to uh, fade in, and there it is. Obviously, it take a little bit longer to actually boot than this, but I'm just turn on a number of these others. And you'll see these come on again, too. Uh, you can recycle, uh, essentially reset, and I'm just going to do that here. Click on this, and it not only shuts it down, but then it uh, does a restart, and he's back. Uh, Next thing we want to do is perhaps log into one of these. So let's just say this one that we see glowing. Uh, that's one of the other things we can do is uh, show when a, uh, a window is actually, uh, when, when a box is um, running, uh, when it, we can actually show what its state is as part of, of that, uh, as part of the system. Uh, so actually, I'll just choose one of these, this console, and what that does is launch uh, yet another application, in this case, a login, and then I can uh, just continue uh, the process. Uh, in this case, I've already had a login to it, but uh, I can do anything I want to from here. Let me uh, delete that. Uh, now, one of the other things we want to be able to do is look inside the windows, uh, inside the boxes. Uh, to do that, just simply click on it, and it'll slide open, and it'll show you the various uh, contents. Uh, in this case, we have three software products running inside here. One happens to be a Quack server. Uh, here's an Apa two Apache servers running as part of that. The other thing to notice when we open this is that we've uh, started a chart we're actually charting information associated with that particular box right here. Uh, so you can see that this uh, little mountain of data changing over time very, with you know, different kinds of variations of information. I can 
I can shut it down, I can close it, and of course our chart would go away. Uh, I can open another one. Let's click there. And again, uh, we see its software contents and we see the charts running. Uh, and I can click on yet another box and the first one will close and the next one will open. Notice also when we do that, uh, this display shows us associated information about that particular box. So as I switch from one to the other, uh, I have uh, kind of a hardware manifesto of what's inside that particular system. Of course, uh, I'm, I'm in, actually in here with my colleague, which in this case is the other version of me, who has the full, full access to the system that I do. So he can just simply select that, open that, close it. Um, uh, other thing you can do is move the racks around. You can uh, spin them around like that, or uh, literally grab them uh, and pull them out and position them any way you like. Uh, this is just the start. Uh, we're looking at a lot of examples and opportunities for utilization of this technology. Uh, this is, again, Quack Forums running a virtual data center, uh, grabbing real-time data from ex outside the 3D space, and again, it's a, a truly collaborate, collaborative space. Any number of users can come in here and work with this, th these data sets, with these objects. Thank you.